thousand, what we did was to put together a lot of pennies, roughly about 20 pennies. We stack um, uh, a washer. We stack, well, first of all, a layer of aluminum because this is gonna be a work transductor. Then we were gonna put a washer. And then after the washer, we were gonna put another penny, and I run already out of penny, but imagine that this is a penny. And then, no, before the penny, a piece of cardboard that is wet with vinegar. And then we were gonna be putting the uh, penny. Imagine that this is a penny, this is not a penny, but whatever. And then we were gonna be checking the voltage and in this particular case, the voltage, you can see that before, no voltage. And now here, no magic, no nothing, you can move it. And now the voltage is gonna go from zero up to 0.8. As you are accumulating more, it's gonna be getting more and more. So this stack, I, I just uh, uh, wrap it with uh, a tape for the sake of uh, convenience, because you can picture that tower that little by little was falling apart and was getting more and more difficult. Uh, so now, just gonna check it. Um, we have uh, 12.8 volts. Now, the uh, in this case, basically the the little issue that we have is that we 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 do have voltage. What we don't have is enough power, enough amps. So in this case, now we have uh, the fashions uh, that are low voltage, two watts, uh, LEDs. And if we try to, to do it, it's not gonna work. Long story short, it's not gonna work, but I'm just gonna put it so you can see that theoretically speaking, we should have enough because this one, according with the instruction, uh, the instruction manual says that it's supposed to be working with 12 uh, to 14 volts. However, due to the um, the uh, current that is required on this little thing uh, is not going to be capable. You can see that it's in 32 watts and it's not going to work. Uh, so right now, just for fun and giggles, we're going to be checking that out. So we have our wire, one wire here, we have the other wire here. And didn't work. Now, uh, we tear apart another lamp out of the, uh, okay, now we tear apart this crap. So hopefully it's still working. We tear apart this lamp and this one, now let's actually, I unplug it. Um, we're gonna try it. This is an LED and LEDs typically, they only go one way, but they do not go the other way. So in this way, it didn't work. Okay, now it's just a matter to swap it. You gotta know which is the positive and the negative, and now it's running. So you can see off and on. Again, because it is an LED, it only can go one direction. So if we swap it, it's not gonna work. That is something absolutely uh, normal, predictable. The only way is doing this. So we're gonna check it out right now is 10.45, give or take. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna twist this crap at 10.45, we're gonna leave it open. And okay, I, I just create a mess, hold on. We're gonna leave it open. So, 
That's the time, Friday uh, the 13th, 10, 10.50. We're going to check it out tomorrow and see, and see what happened. So hopefully this is going to be our uh, solution for our free energy. And the theory says that the zinc is going to be passing the electrons to the copper. And with this, basically what we are doing is the principle of a capacitor bank. Every time that you are having one conductor, then space, another conductor, the electrons are going to move from one place to another and little by little accumulating energy. Well, not energy, uh, uh, the difference of voltage. And by the time you have uh, resistance, then suddenly it's going to start flow uh, 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 flowing. So let's see what happened. That's all.